We're Martin and Julie, and we're seeking a life with more freedom and independence as we build our off-grid homestead from scratch here in North Idaho. You're going to be amazed at what our tractor can do. Today we're going to be engaged in a beautification project here on the homestead as well as some forestry management, which I will explain to you later on in the video. But for right now, you can see we've got these two big piles of limbs and tiny trees here. We're gonna start burning them now. This is diesel. It might seem counterintuitive to be spraying our fire when that's what we want. We're trying to burn this stuff, but we don't want the temperature to get too hot. And so that's what I'm doing. As Marty puts the new like green branches on, they burn so hot. So we're trying to keep that down so we can have a manageable fire. Check this out. There is still snow under our pile, you guys. <laughs> ah, almost got me. <laughs> it's going really good. Yeah, man, we got the whole pile moved already. It's burning good. Not a lot of ashes going up into the sky. It's burning pretty clean. Yeah, and we picked today because it's not windy. That's right. It's been windy all week, but today is supposed to be a no wind day. Yep. And it's not. I mean, there's, right now there's barely even a breeze, so that's yep. good. That actually works pretty good at pulling up those little trees. We might have to try that. Whoa, try that a little bit more. What you doing over here, Jules? Well, I'm gonna clean up around the chicken fence. Yeah. Pull out all of these like, misfit logs that we use. We use these as um, we were trying to keep the chickens in, so they would get under the fence in some spots that were low. So we don't need these anymore because we're gonna be taking the fence down. So I think I'll go around and grab all these and just chuck them into the fire. What do you think? Good idea. Is this a good idea? Yeah. Yeah, because they like free range life. You guys like free ranging? Huh? You guys like free ranging? Get out of my face. I gotta go grab the chainsaw. We're gonna cut up, cut these guys off here that are so long. And then we're gonna have to start working in there and clearing out all that cut up stuff that's in there. Take a look at this big thing right here. What is this? Marty found this in the woods as we were cleaning up. And we need to know what it is. Any guesses? I have no idea. <laughs> Something for logging maybe? Just I don't know. Buried got, in our woods. <laughs> buried in our woods, we found it. Chuck, you ran out of gas. Yep. Wow, he's thirsty. Five gallons. It's going really good though, huh? Yeah, it's going good pretty it's fast. Really pretty day. Yeah, and there's like no wind now. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, the pile's burning really nicely. This stuff right here is actually from when we first got onto the property. We just had to yeah. clear a spot for ourselves in the trees. So we made a mess we'd have to clean up again later. Yep. Something about the way you sound shakes me up and makes me
I need to go around the perimeter of the fence and take off all of the holders that are holding the electric fence wire that we had set up at the beginning when we first got the chickens. We were trying to keep Tux out of there because he likes to eat all the poop. And so we put an electric fence around the bottom of it. So I need to take that off first and then I can take the wire off, ravel that up, and then I'll be able to actually take the fence off. This is what I'm talking about right here. I need to, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. This one looks, oh. Let's try another one. All right, so let's unhook that. And then these guys, we actually just put into trees around the perimeter. So this is what I'm talking about. I need to go take all of these off. And I have an entourage. Hi, buddies. That massive burn pile is gone. Reduced to that. So it's coming along pretty good. Jules is over here. She's working on the chicken fencing still. How's yeah. that going? Um, difficult right now. <laughs> I'm having a hard time undoing your knot. <laughs> uh oh. Let me show you over here what we're going to be doing. Kind of what Seth has already gotten done. You might be wondering what Seth is right now. Well, he's doing school. When he's done with the school for the day, which is homeschooling, he's in the house doing his homeschooling. Then he'll be out here helping us. But let me show you. See all that? You couldn't even see through that. That looked like this, right? And so we're thinning this out. We've got some dead trees in there. We've got some sick trees in there. We want to get rid of those so that the forest can be more healthy. So today, not only are we trying to make the place look better by thinning the trees and limbing them up, we are, number one, making the forest more healthy. And number two, reducing wildfire risk by getting the limbs up off of the ground. Uh, that makes it a lot safer for wildfires and thinning the trees makes it safer for wildfires also. Here's another look at that treasure we found out in the forest. If you notice, it looks like it has maybe some pulleys on it of some kind. It's got these big springs right here. I'll show you over here. It looks like this pushed or pulled right here. Back up here, give you guys a little wider view of it. What is this thing? Maybe it's like a million dollar treasure that I found in the woods. Let me know down in the comments below what that thing is. And if it's worth any money, maybe it's an ancient antique of forestry history, who knows. This is how I decided to wrap the wire. I don't know that that's the right thing to do, but it made it manageable for me. And then hopefully we can reuse this wire in the future if we want to. I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but I am having a really hard time getting all of this wire back into a nice, neat little bundle. Pushing those guys over with the tractor actually worked pretty good, man. We got that one right there pushed over. And we got these two big ones. I mean, these are pretty big. I mean, look at that guy. That's pretty big. All right, we got this big root ball here. I mean, look at the size of this tree. That's pretty good size, wouldn't you say? We'll keep a lot of those ones for firewood, limb it up, get it on the burn pile. I am thoroughly impressed with this saw, man. It works so good and it's so quiet. I just cut a 12 inch round log, the second one I've cut, plus I've been using it all morning, cutting limbs and stuff. The battery lasts a long time. What are we at? We still got two bars, two out of three bars right now. I like it, man. I'll put a link down in the description to this saw. It seems to be working great so far. Oh. 
What do you think? I think it's going good. Yeah. I'm excited. We're getting a lot done today. The next day, guys. That's all that's left. It burned up really good yesterday last night and just been kind of stirring it around and making sure that it just keeps burning right here in this nice little spot <laughs> let's go see if we can't push down some more trees Good job, dude. Pretty easy, huh? Yeah, this is nice. It's way nice. Super quiet. Girls can use it too. Girls can use it. Here you get treble. Seth found a comfy spot. Yeah. <laughs> nice. This right here is another area that we've been working on. You haven't seen it in the video yet, but I wanted to show you this because it really is going to help me illustrate why it's so important that we thin our forest. So you see all this, how it's nice and open, right? Take a look at this. This is what our property is like where we have not thinned it yet. This is a forest fire disaster waiting to happen. Imagine if you got a small fire in here, it would, it would travel up all of these, all of this would burn up and then across the tops, the canopies of the trees and just rip through a forest, man. Why does the forest get like that? Because we have put out forest fires historically, right? For like a hundred years, we have been putting out forest fires because we want to preserve the forest. But in actuality, small forest fires that periodically come through a forest, they burn out all of that underbrush. And the forest fires would typically stay fairly small and wouldn't destroy the forest like they do now when you see a huge forest fire, say, in California. So we've got to act like a forest fire. And we've got to thin out all of that underbrush and let the forest be healthy so we don't have those giant devastating fires. Check it out, guys. Oh, man. We cut down so many trees and made it so much more open. It looks so much better in my opinion. And it's healthier and safer. I picked out this video right here for you to watch special. Go ahead and click that video and I will see you over there in just a second.